in this world. He said, well, stop preaching at me. I said, well, the Bible says that, that um, how can they believe without a preach? How can they hear without a preach? Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Now you say, believe, you say, Dale, believing in God is seeing God. I must first see. Well, you say that. I can say, you don't believe in the oxygen, the, the, the air we breathe. You say, yes, I believe in the oxygen, the air we breathe. I say, no, you don't. You can't see it, but you can feel it, hallelujah. That's like when you come to Jesus Christ, you can feel his love, his joy, and his peace. Let alone you can't see him, but he's there, he's real, people. You may walk away up in shame, but Jesus Christ is the light of the world, so electricians can understand him, hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the bread of life, so the fakers can understand him, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the, the water of life, so the plumbers can understand him, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the joy of life, so the, the, um, the carpenters can understand him, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the bloody morning star, so the drivers can understand him, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the tree vine, so the horticulturists can understand him. Hallelujah. There is a heaven, there is a hell. You say, well, God, prove it. I came with the word of God. He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Why do you say repent? He said, repent and turn from your sin, or likewise you perish. Jesus Christ loves everyone. God loves you. He doesn't hate you. He's not here to condemn you. But John 3.16, verse 18 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that who should ever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 18. But God did not send his only begotten Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the captives might be set free. That's us. The captives can sin, people. You say, no, what sin? Well, fornication sin. Idolatry sin. Lying's a sin. Stealing's a sin. You say, I haven't, I haven't stolen anything. Well, have you ever told a lie? That's sin. The Bible says, we're all sinners and have fallen short of the glory of God. There's no way any of us here will get to heaven on our own. Because Ephesians 2 verse 8 uh, to verse 9 to verse 10 says, we say, true grace, that not of a thousand weak is God, not of our least any man should fight. You say, how do I get to heaven? So number one, believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. And receive Jesus Christ in your heart, in your life, number two. Number three, believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. <coughs> According to what the Bible says, That Jesus Christ loves everyone, hallelujah. He loves me and you. <laughs> we say, what about that false prophet on the news how he said God hates gays? God doesn't hate gays. Does he ever say once in the Bible that God hates? Of course not. He forgot to read that verse in Romans 8, 5 verse 8. But God commanded his love towards us in that while yet sinners Christ died for us. Why are you in sin? Why are you lying? And, and all that thievery, all that fornication. God, Christ loves you, even though you're in all that. <laughs> Jesus Christ said, repent or likewise you perish. Jesus Christ said, I've, I've not come for the righteous, but sinners to repentance. There's Satan and there's God. Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Satan is the one who will deceive you and kill you. So how is that now? If you're to spell the word back with evil, what do you got? I'll give anyone five seconds to reveal it. Go for it. <laughs> live. Live. Evil backwards is live. <laughs> Satan is the opposite of live. He's evil. John 10 verse 10 clearly says it. Jesus said the thief 
tons of kill, take, and destroy. But Dave Cross said, I'll come like that. Mark can have a ball fun of it. Now Dave Cross said, the mark and the ball find the resurrection lost. He that believes in me, so yet he dies, shall he live. Now tell me, why did Dave Cross say that? <coughs> the way to sin is death, people, but the gift of God is life eternal. Trust in Dave Cross. Don't trust in yourself. Don't trust in your, your business. Trust in Jesus Christ, hallelujah. How do we get to heaven? Through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who lives sinless life. Of course, Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you that much. He doesn't want to see you go to hell. That's why he warns about hell. It's like you warn your children about pain and danger. You don't want them to get kidnapped. And that's why jail. Everyone believes in jail, but no one wants to go there. That's like hell. There's two thieves on the cross. One on the left side of Jesus, cursed Jesus. He laughed, he mocked, he scorned Jesus. He, he ended up going to hell. While well, the other thief on the right side said, Jesus, forgive me. I know that no one asked for the fire. He said, this day I'll see you in heaven, paradise. You'll be with me. He went to heaven. My main job on this earth is to empty hell and fill heaven, hallelujah. You say I lived a good life? You say I'm a good person? Well, I say, alright, have you ever told a lie? If you have, what would anyone call you? A liar, of course. I say, have you ever stolen anything? Some say yes, some say no. So the people who say yes, I'll say, okay, what would someone call you if you stole a thing? I say, now do you think stealing a good thing? Of course not. The Bible says, Ecclesiastes 7 verse 20, but there is not a just man upon the earth that does good and sin is not. For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. <coughs> say, you say, oh, seeing is believing. I say, well, all right. You don't believe in the air we breathe, let alone you can't see it. But we see the effect it does with, with all the, the rubbish that blows around. We can't see the wind. Jesus Christ said, Believe. Say that mouth, be thou cast in the sand, do not doubt in his heart. Doubt would stop you from coming to Jesus Christ, people. The thief. Satan is a thief. He's a liar. He's cunning. He's cruel. He's deceitful. Come to Jesus Christ will give you that love, that joy, that peace that no one else can give you. Not your wife, not your husband, not your job, not your business. Not even your car. When you die, you're going to leave all that here. You're going to leave your business, your job. You can't take it with you. This, Paul said in, in Romans 10 verse, not verse 9 and verse 10. That if thou shalt confess to thy mouth of the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, they shall be saved. Hallelujah. Verse 10. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with a mouth confession made unto salvation. <coughs> Peter said in, in Acts chapter 3 verse 19, Repent, yea, therefore, and be confirmed that your sins may be blotted out when the time to refresh shall come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah. I want my sins to be blotted out. I don't want to get to God on Judgment Day and him to open up the bush and say, oh, there's lion in there. There's, there's uh, the thief on it. No, I don't want that. That's why you got to repent. You say, oh, what is repentance? They turn away from the kingdom, the darkness, to the light of Jesus Christ. Forsaking 
your sin, your unrighteousness, your filthiness. The Bible says our righteousness is a filthy rag. <laughs> the prophet of Zion said that. He said, oh, why do I need to believe in Jesus Christ? I say, because he's life eternal. You cannot have everlasting life without Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is that life-giving, breathing, hallelujah. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God, let alone enter it. <laughs> Jesus Christ warned of heaven, you also warned of hell. But Jesus Christ mentions hell more than heaven. Why is that? Because Jesus Christ doesn't want to say, no, I'm going to hell, perish, hurt, suffer, be rejected, be fully disconnected from God. You haven't got Jesus Christ in your heart, you're an enemy of God. <laughs> what if we're good people? Good question. That's not enough to get you to heaven. Jesus said to Nicodemus in the Bible. There was a man of the first his name, Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews. The same kind of days by nine said on him, Rabbi, we know that thou and the teeth come from God. But no man can do these miracles that thou does expect God be with him. Jesus answered it. And said on him, Thou thou said unto thee, expect man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said on him, How can a man be born when he is old? Then he had the second time in his mother's word to be born again. <coughs> See, Nicodemus was pure. He wanted to know for sure. But Jesus answered, Belly, I say unto thee, Back a man be born of water and of the spirit and cannot enter the kingdom of God. But say, How can I be born of the spirit and of the water? Have you ever been baptized? What being born again is receiving Jesus Christ in your heart by faith. Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh. You could touch your brother next to you or your mother, that's fleshly touch, but flesh cannot touch spirit. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Flesh cannot touch spirit. It's impossible. We got a spirit where it's dead to God or alive in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, Marvin, not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. He had to to Nicodemus three times. Jesus said, the wind far for our listeners to know here is the sound thereof, but can us not tell where it cometh, and where it goes, tells everyone that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus then said unto him, how can these things be? Jesus answered it, and said unto him, art thou master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Jesus said, vow, vow, say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen and hear, receive not our witness. If I saw the earthly thing, and yet believe not, how shall I tell you if how shall I tell you of heavenly thing? He said you must be born again. <laughs> You're not born again. Well, you're going to hell. Simple as. There's two paths we gotta be on. No, there's one path that we gotta be on, right? With Jesus. The Bible clearly says it. In the gospel. They say my word, these are Jesus' this word, Talia, and it's life giving. They said in Matthew 7, verse 13 and 14, and she had the great day for wide and the gate, and brought his way that leads to destruction, and many there be which they're going at. There are many on the destruction path. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. Only a few. The Bible warns of destruction. But if you've got Jesus Christ in your heart, you pass from death unto life. You say, oh, I just wait till Jesus appears to me. Do you think Jesus would appear to you? If you don't call out to him, Jesus will only appear if you, if you acknowledge him. <laughs> Give Jesus a chance and opportunity and he will reveal himself to you. Jesus said, when I be lifted up, I'll draw a man unto himself. 
Those, the Bible says that if you seek God with all your heart, you'll find Him. With all your 